Okay, today we're going to be playing what I consider to be the single most underrated Call of Duty Zombies map of all time. Goal is to complete the Easter egg. Uh, I don't think I'll fail it. Uh, you never know. I've completed the Dead of the Night Easter egg 12 times. Why have I completed it so many? I don't know. I'm an absolute Dead of the Night nerd. I just absolutely love this map, even though everyone else seems to absolutely hate it. I, I, I've always said that Dead of the Night and Ancient Evil are the top two underrated maps, but they're underrated in different ways. Even the biggest Black Ops 4 haters tend to say that Ancient Evil is at least good, right? Like nobody says that Ancient Evil is like objectively a bad map. But in my opinion, it's it's one of the best. Like, it's top five. Dead of the Night, however, is, I don't know, like probably like top ten. Like, it's not quite as good as Ancient Evil, but it's... Uh, the thing about Dead of the Night is a lot of people absolutely hate it. Why do they hate it? I don't know. It has something to do with the amount of parts that you need to collect. And, and overall, just the the bad first impressions that this map gave to a lot of people. But today, we're going to be doing the Easter egg and seeing how that goes. Okay, I got to grab this. I'm gonna grab this. I'm gonna keep track of all the different parts I gotta collect. Gotta smash this vase. Gotta grab the shield part. <laughs> okay. I always said that if I was ever gonna get into like zombies Easter egg speedrunning, the one map that I'd really wanna learn the route for is Dead of the Night. I really, really, really like this map. Um, I don't know where all of the different look throughs are. Like, I'm not exactly sure where that is, but we'll figure it out. I think it's above. I, th I was gonna say, I think it's in here. Yeah, there it is. See? I'm a Dead of the Night expert. Absolute Dead of the Night maniac. I've been really busy the past couple days. I've been uh, setting up my Red Z. Red Z. I gotta remember Red Z. I I've been setting up a new desk uh, in my room. And uh, I'll put a picture of it up on screen so you guys can see. But yeah, it's it's uh, I, I really like it. It's just, uh, it it's so much bigger and gives me so much more space to work with rather than my old desk. And so I'm kind of... Uh, Kind of just enjoying it right now. I'm still getting used to it and everything. It, it's kind of weird because before I was always like cramped into the corner in my room, but now I have like a ton of room. It's really, really nice. I'm really liking it. Okay, I'm gonna leave the ghost there for a minute. Um, We're gonna go up here. Cause I need to smash this vase. I just realized that I still have blaze phase on for some reason, as if that's going to be even mildly useful for this. It's all right. It's it's okay. I don't think my perks necessarily matter too too much on uh, on this map at least. Okay. But yeah, just literally everything about this map is just so good to me. I, I there's not too many things that I absolutely hate about it. Okay, let me look through this thingy. Okay, it's, uh, what is that, Zeus? I think it's Zeus, right? I always get Zeus and Odin mixed up. Okay, grab some points. Insta-kill. Okay. Now I can head down here and finish escorting this ghost. Here we go. Come on, ghosty. This is my best friend right here. Uh, her name is, uh, her name's, uh, Agatha. Agatha the ghost. Okay, so it's Red Z and Green Z. Gotta remember that. Okay, grab this first pack a punch thing. Open up this. I I, I guess like there's one thing that I I dislike, and, and it's a gripe that I think a lot of people have is the characters on this map are very very subpar. Honestly, easily the worst celebrity cast they've ever had on a zombies map. Well, I think they're celebrities, right? Or are they not? I don't even know who voice acts the kid these characters. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. They might just be random Andy's for all I know. But either way, the characters are are not good. They're just, they're just, they're just not good. Okay, I need to grab this. I need to grab this thing back here. Oh, grab that. Okay, hit this vase. This is my last vase now, and I need to grab the plates. There we go. As long, as long as you're keeping track of what you're doing, this map is fun. As long as you have the ability to like just think just a little bit just a slight a slight amount of memorization okay it's the little clock just gotta remember that okay while i'm down here i'll build this i'm stuck excuse me um oh my god i, I actually almost took it down right there might as well build the shield while i'm thinking about it okay we just need the bat poop the werewolf poop wh wh whatever creature pooped out here in this graveyard, we just need to come and pick it up. The most iconic of all, of all zombie related uh, steps. You gotta pick up the poop in the graveyard. It's gonna go down in the history books and grab our 
guano. I'm gonna grab a Spitfire. I just realized I can do this step up here real quick. Yeah, let's let's hit the clock. I probably should have switched off the uh, Scepter of Raw just for just for fun purposes. The Scepter of Raw is by far the best specialist when it comes to the Chaos ones, but it's by far the like least fun one to use in my opinion. Gotta show off my. Uh, my amazing FPS skills here. 360 around to shoot these zombies. Okay, let's grab this. That's our last pack of punch piece. Okay, let me open up the pack of punch. Ah, uh, please get away. Um, I think that's right. Okay, there we go. Got the wonder weapon. Trade it for my pistol. Oh, here comes werewolf. Okay, I need to build this silver bullets real quick. Come on. Wait, did I? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Let's kill our boy. Let's kill the big chief. The big chief man himself. The big boss man. Absolutely take him out. And then bash this. Like I said, there's a ton of things to keep track of, but once you do it, like, I don't know. I guess I, I guess I I guess I have done it literally 12 times solos. Maybe I'm not the person to talk about it. There's a fun tip for you, Dead of the Night gamers. You can shoot the top of the cemetery thing from here and it'll activate the puzzle step. See, puzzle starts and I didn't even have to go all the way over there. If you don't know how to do this puzzle, basically you just spin it until the middle one goes to green. And then once the middle one is green, then you activate, please get out of my face. And you wanna turn this one until it turns blue basically. And then that, the far right one until it turns red. Okay, we gotta crawl it. This is actually pretty convenient. It's the one bad thing about doing like half the steps in BO4 is when you have to do them solo, it's just very frustrating to try to keep zombies and stuff. Then you just turn this one until it turns red and basically just keep going in that order until eventually you complete the puzzle. There we go. Easy as that. Now it's the infamous tally step. See, I don't know how much of the general zombies population knows all the, all of the details of Dead of the Night, but there's a ton of uh, steps that get looked at as being absolutely horrendous, and this is probably the peak of the peak of them. I don't actually hate it. I think it's. I think it's not. I don't think it's that bad at all. I grab Dying Wish just in case shit hits the fan. Okay, our first symbol is an H, and you basically just count the tally marks so three plus five is eight and then this one is another three so it's 11 so h equals 11 and then i just need to remember that and there's another symbol under this table here i just gotta crawl under while getting hit okay that's like 69 is five uh that one's not there five plus nine or five plus four is nine and then the last symbol should be in here yes okay so it's like that rectangle looking thing uh, five, 10, 15. Okay, so the rectangle looking thing is 15. So the order then goes the 69 each rectangle. It would probably be a lot easier to remember the symbols if I knew the corresponding zodiac sign because they're, they're obviously like zodiac signs. I just, I, I don't know any zodiac signs by heart. And the thing is while you're trying to memorize those puzzle pieces, you also need to be like upgrading your gun. So it's a lot to it's a lot to take in. <laughs> you gotta be an experienced dead of the nighter to be able to keep track of everything. Okay, 69 H rectangle. Should be that. That should be the symbol right there. There we go. And then we can upgrade our wonder weapon for the first time. We gotta upgrade it one more time before it's all over. Now we gotta open up the like observatory area and shield bash it. Easy clap. And then turn this trap on, activate our electric shield. Come up here and hit it with the butta bam. There's three different quests you have to do to, to do the Easter egg basically. Um, and this will complete the first one. It might seem worse than it is if you haven't done it like a couple of times, but I promise you it's not bad. And this is basically gonna, st this is gonna like start a little lockdown. And while we're in this lockdown, we can get, we can start upgrading our wonder weapon for the final time. Grab, grab all this bio. I don't know. I could talk about dead of the night all day. Like I, I, I love that. I really do love this map. It's, it's one of my favorites. Hello, Mr. Werewolf. I feel so bad for him when I'm just like smacking him around with the scepter. Like, I'm, I'm really doing the werewolves dirty. Okay, take this guy out. Okay, there we go. And that's basically one of three quests. 
I'm gonna grab stamina up while I'm over here. I don't I don't think I need the points for anything else. I just realized it's only round eight. <laughs> I wonder what the record is for the lowest round the Easter egg was ever done on. Kind of genuinely curious. I don't know. I was thinking posting more gameplay videos and less like, you know, pre-recorded, like me just talking about something type videos. Like on my channel, I've kind of been doing like, I don't know, like three scripted videos for every like one just gameplay video but i think i'm gonna lean more into just gameplay just playing some of these older maps that i that i i still to this day really really enjoy playing you know what i mean i don't know it's all it's all it's all whatever you guys want the part should be in this what the bro you jumped on my head there to dodge the shot zombies are evolving okay here we go got the part finally okay now we gotta shoot this red light oh i did not mean to shoot that twice it's fine. I thought maybe it would mess it up. Okay. And it spawns in a bat that I killed before you <laughs> literally spawn trap that dude. The second you spawn, he was dead. Uh, my bad. Then we summon the vampire. And, and this is going to be the last part of upgrading the wonder weapon. Yeah, there's the part. Here we go. I'm going to ABH. Ooh, that's God's here. Actual God's here anywhere but here right there. Just cooking up my parts to my my wonder weapon. I wish I wish that this machine didn't take so long to cook up the the wonder weapon parts. And you gotta cook two of them. It's like, okay. There we go. And just bring it over here to this station. We're gonna get Alistar's Annihilator. There we go. Fully upgraded. Dead of the Night is one of those maps that the mystery box is just entirely obsolete. Like, there'd be no reason to ever hit the mystery box. You don't really need a Helion Salvo for anything. Like, you're... I don't know why I just... I don't know why my brain just turned off there. Um... Okay. Don't know why I just activated my dying wish for literally no reason other than I'm a complete idiot, but it's fine. I, I also, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't think I would insta die to the trap, but apparently, apparently it insta kills you. I will admit that this is probably one of the more like <laughs> complicated, like overly complicated steps that there is. You gotta hit four fireplaces in the right order with a flaming blue shell. And you gotta do that three times for three different sets of fireplaces. It can be a lot if you've never done it before. I, 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 I won't lie about this. Okay, hit that, that, and then we come up here and do this. Okay, before I actually start the last fireplace, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna start the third quest. So we're basically doing two quests at once right now, which, which I'm basically making things more com i'm basically making things seem more complicated than they actually are but it's just because i'm doing like 19 steps at once rather than rather than doing them one at a time you know what i mean okay basically you just shoot the tree it drops you a little tree branch you pick the little tree branch up and we're building an effigy because why because why not why would you not build an effigy right there's never a bad time to build an effigy yeah then you basically activate your little gravestone and walk over here and it just like builds. I need a fire charge. There we go. And you hop up and you kill yourself because why not? We got to burn in hell or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Basically, the rest of this quest is to just run back in here. There's going to be a ghost that spawns in like one of three locations. And then you're going to follow it back to the cemetery. And that's basically it. Meanwhile, while we're doing this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to finish my fireplace though. I need to hit this fireplace. This fireplace. And I'm gonna run all the way back to the music room. Bro, it's literally only round 11. Like, <laughs> I, I've never done it on this low of a round. I don't know why I'm like min maxing this so hard right now. Just like literally. I don't even have, I don't even have my four perks yet. Like, this game just barely started. I have a feeling that you can complete this entire Easter egg by like round like eight, maybe if you like really, really optimized it, maybe even earlier than that. I don't know. Cause there's so many, like, like you literally pretty much never have to progress the round. Like you have to get kills. Once you get a certain amount of kills for like different steps, you could pretty much just keep the round low. Like I've ended the round without like needing to probably like three or four times. And I'm only on round 11. So just got to bring this ghost over back to this place. Come on. Come on, Agatha. <laughs> I love that fire animation. It was... 
Absolutely fantastic graphics. Absolutely beautiful. And we got to start the second lockdown of three, which is not very difficult when you have an Alistair's Annihilator in your back pocket. Well, actually, maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe I spoke too soon. God damn, dude. If I would have actually went down while I was saying that this is easy, I would have lost my shit. Pretty much all you have to do is sit in a corner with the Alistairs. That's why high rounds on this map are like ridiculously easy. You just sit in a corner with either... Well, you sit in a corner with a Helian Salvo and the Alistair's Annihilator. And you pretty much just never like... Unless you... Until you run out of ammo, there's pretty much just no way to go down. You know what I mean? Hi, friend. Oh my god, dude. It's so broken. The scepter is so unbelievably broken. Like, it's so, so, so bad. Bro, like, you should not be able to kill the boss. Like, the mini boss of the map in, like, three hits. It's so OP. Okay. It's gonna activate these three statues around the map finish my fireplace mcbob and then bring these gems to the uh what's it called to the forest and then we're done the easter egg in this map is simple <clears throat> as far as there's not that many steps are the steps themselves complicated yes but but the fact that there's the fact that there isn't that many steps to begin with makes it relatively simple you know what i mean i also could be doing things like getting the steak knife or getting uh the other wonder weapon thing the bow thing whatever it's called i actually forget what it's called but but yeah, I, I just rather not because it's not the way that I enjoy playing this map. When I play this map, I just like doing the Easter egg, getting the, uh, you know, Alistair's Annihilator, obviously, because you have to. And also it's just, it's just fun to use. But yeah, okay. Let's grab Blaze Phase. Again, I, no clue why I have Blaze Phase on, but I do. So we're just going to roll with it. For now, I just got to use Blaze Phase because I, I really want the, the Speed Cola effect on my gun. I might be the only person that doesn't absolutely hate the Black Ops 4 perk system. Like the whole like Speed Cola, once you have all four perks, like just make Makes sense like it just feels right and i don't know if i'm the only one i'm probably the only person on the face of the earth that has that opinion but i don't mind it because speed cola feels like a crutch perk and i get what they were trying to do <clears throat> by removing crutch perks the problem is they added more with things like dying wish and stamina up is still so good that you know you'd be crazy to not use it pretty much but but i understand the direction i guess <clears throat> the direction for what they were doing made sense like it's just as simple as that okay so these like little like statues basically become soul boxes now come on you can do it buddy you can fill up there we go should be it for that one let's go over let's go up here i don't know if you guys dislike dead of the night please let me know why because i'm curious is it just is it just the same like the, the one opinion is that there's too much to keep track of there's too many parts or whatever but like there's the silver bullets which is basically six different parts that have like three locations each like that can be a lot but other than that what about this map is so dislikable like what makes you absolutely hate it i'd love to know or what about the vampires is it, is it the vampires the, pe the people hate like just the amount of like mini bosses there are again not something that i personally dislike two the two main mini bosses is that people hate in Call of Duty Zombies that I just do not understand are one, Dead of the Night vampires. Like, they're not that bad. I promise you, they're not just not that bad. And two, uh, Zetsubono Shima Thrashers. Why do people hate Thrashers? I don't know. You tell me. Okay, that's basically it for this. Let's do this last lockdown and then we're done. Okay, I might as well pack a punch while I'm, while I'm waiting for this to start. Spitfire is still crazy. Like, look at this. I get just one clip the werewolves. Hit fire. Oh, oh, accidentally going to my dying wish. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, dude, if that was a fire zombie, I was literally just dead. I literally would have just took it down. Okay, grab a shield and then we're good to go. All right, hold F to proceed. You won't come back from this. They got to like threaten me before I enter the boss fight. They're trying to scare me into not doing it for some reason. Roar! Yeah, boss fight. One of the weirder, but same at the same time, sort of refreshing boss fight mechanics that we've ever had. Like it's so, I feel like it's very random. Like you line these statues up onto one square. Like you basically turn the three statues so they're all facing the same square and you lure the werewolf onto the square. What, why this is exactly how it works, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I'm missing something. But uh, the Spitfire absolutely rolls the boss, so. 
Okay. I think, I, yeah. If the Spitfire wasn't so OP versus this boss, it might be an entirely different story. Like, we just literally one-shot them. There's there's only two more waves left. And the middle wave is an act. The, the middle wave is basically just, it spawns in, like, regular werewolves. Also, like, the whole thing of just fighting a giant werewolf is completely hilarious. Like, why is that? <laughs> like, why? <laughs> why? <laughs> It truly feels like they were just throwing shit at the wall for this map, but in like the best way possible. I mean, it, it, it's it's endearing. It, it's so goofy and silly that it, it's it's a little bit endearing. I'm not gonna lie. Oh no, I need Max. Max, 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 Max. <gasps> no, I missed the. F oh, <laughs> I missed the Max. That's so sad. Just gotta line the statues up one more time. There we go. Just gonna lure our buddy Eric the Werewolf back into the back into the green square. Hey yo, Eric. Hey yo, Eric. Eric. Ow, 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 ow. Almost went down. Oh, I did go down. Well, that's unfortunate. That was an unnecessary down. I was trying to one shot him again, but that's unfortunate. My bad. I just had to keep things interesting, you know, for the YouTube video. I wanted to keep you second guessing if I'm gonna complete this or not, you know? Okay, can you die? Okay. Um, yeah, I was too scared to like go all in on him again. If I run out of ammo now in the Spitfire, then I'm just completely like gone. Like there's no way to get more ammo at this point. Oh, oh, I'm actually dead. Never mind. I lost my shield. I need to focus up. Hold on, let me focus up. Let's get rid of these Nosferatu's as soon as possible. Okay, he's trapped. Come on. Come on, come on. He's still not dead, is he? I have one more clip left of my Spitfire. No shield left, because I'm utterly- I I'm literally throwing. Like, I couldn't be throwing this game any harder right now. Line that up. Ow. No, 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 please! Die! Oh my god. Come here, buddy. Ow. There we go. GG, GG. The YouTube algorithm thinks that this would be a good video for you to watch next. Why don't you click on it and find out if it's right?